We are joined now in the studio by one of the political leaders who signed on to that letter Christina was talking about, the Democratic New York Congressman Gregory Meeks. Congressman, thank you for coming in. We Good to be with it. you. I know you joined us when we did our show from Long Island City as well. You were in Washington that day. Many people were surprised by Amazon's move to leave New York, but you guys, are those who support it, are not giving up. What are the odds uh, that well, they I'd actually say come back? There's 50-50. I mean, there's a reason why Amazon chose New York. Uh, the talent that's here, uh, the opportunity to grow that's here, um, the uh, neighborhood that they're in yeah. uh, is perfect. So those things have not changed. Uh, and I think that, uh, as you've heard from the governor and all of those, a, a list of individuals, whether they be from business, from government, from labor, which comprises all of who we are in this city and state, Sure, uh, we know the importance of, uh, of having an Amazon. The, the other thing that hasn't changed, though, as you know, is the opposition. And Amazon's point, it seemed, when they said, hey, we're not coming to New York, is that that's not going away. This is just the start of it. And if it's this bad now, we don't want to put up with, with it for years. So what would you say to that? And I think that if you look at a poll that was done, overwhelmingly the majority of New Yorkers want Amazon here. Mm -hmm. I think that if you polled the elected officials, overwhelmingly they want Amazon here. Right. Uh, and I think that uh, what you, you know, we did not expect Amazon to pull out in the way that they did. Uh, we thought that, you know, we would fight, and that's what we do as New Yorkers. Yeah. Uh, and in the end, uh, we would have this thing done. It's really splitting your party, isn't it, Congressman? On well, I don't know if it's splitting our party. I mean, as I said, you've got some, that, you know, I don't know for any party where people are 100 uh, percent together on everything. So there's certain things that you're... You differ on. But we see it all week. I mean, uh, the vice president talked about it, uh, Larry Kudlow, yesterday, this whole idea that 2020 is going to be socialism versus capitalism. And this story kind of speaks to that to some extent. You know, well, no. the Democratic if you look at the new members of the House, there were 63 new members mm -hmm. of the House. Overwhelmingly, those members come from districts that are moderate districts. You're right about that. There's only, you know, really the focus is, you know, so they are. Uh, shows that that's not a real split. Mm -hmm. There's a dialogue and conversation because in the Democratic Party there is a lot of diversity of ideas. Yeah, it's a small kind and, of vocal minority, yeah. is your point. And, and yeah, yeah, so we'll debate those things. Real quick before we let you go, we had a gentleman on from Virginia yesterday making similar arguments to what we heard here in New York. So I'll just throw a couple of them at you and maybe you can try to refute them. They say, number one, hey, housing costs go up. Companies like this come in, we get kicked out. They say, as you heard Christina talk about, it's crony capitalism, these subsidies. What do you say to people who are making these kinds of arguments? Well, number one, when you talk about the uh, $3 billion that's been written, there's not a check that's being written. It's out. a tax incentive. So it's a tax incentive, which you do. And then you look at, for me, the key is what's the return on investment? Because mm -hmm. that's basically the city uh, making a $3 billion investment. The return, the anticipated return, is $28 billion. Right. I'll take that return on investment every time. The 25,000 jobs are significant to me because they're not, they are, oh, most of those jobs are $150,000 or more, which increases your tax revenue in the city. Mm -hmm. That's, then you look at all of the small businesses around that development. Right. They will do more. That means they will have to hire more individuals. So the net gain far outweighs the net loss. And what's also significant for me is the fact that next to the facility is public housing, right. NYCHA housing. So those, the rents for those individuals are locked in. I'm a product of public housing. So to see uh, Amazon right across the street uh, and individuals then can see what they can do if they, you know, once they get their education and grow up, that's incentive. That's an interesting it's an angle to it, yeah. Important thing, important piece. I think. All right, so you say there's still a chance, 50-50. We'll continue to follow it and uh, come back and talk to us again, okay? Will do. Congressman Gregory Meeks.